Hello, in this video I'm going to introduce you to radians and so we're going to start off by looking at well, what are radians, where do they come from, we're then going to look at how to convert between degrees and radians and radians and degrees and then we're going to answer some questions. So I'm going to timestamp the different parts of this video so you can skip through to the bit that you want to see and we'll start off by saying well where do they come from. So previously when measuring angles we would have used degrees and we'll also know that in a full turn we have 360 degrees. So why is that the case? Okay, so it's a pretty arbitrary choice. It doesn't really mean anything. It's just quite a nice number to work with because a lot of numbers will divide into 360. And so we said that, well, if a full turn is 360, it might make other bits of maths easier for us later. So it's quite a nice choice. But someone else came along and they said, I think we can approach this a bit more rationally. I think there's a better way to measure angles. And so they created the radian, okay? And the way we define a radian is like so. We say that, well, if we have a length r, which is the radius of a circle, I'm now going to draw an arc on the circumference that is also length r. Okay, so let me estimate this, it's not going to be perfect, but that say is length r. Okay, and I'm going to connect it up to another radius like this. So we've got a side, or a shape, sorry, with three sides all of length r. We say that, well, this angle that we've created, that is one radian. Okay, and we could write like this, we could say it's one rad. Or we could say it's one with a little c, so it's not a degree, it's, it's a c. And so this is one radian. So now we need to know, well, okay, that's great, that's one radian. So how many radians are there in a full turn? Because then we'll know how many radians is equivalent to 360 degrees. And so, well, it's actually quite easy because we can say that, well, this length r, okay, is equivalent to one radian, and that is a small part of the whole circumference. And so if we calculated how many of those lengths are went into this full circumference here, well, then that would be how many radians we have. So what is the circumference of this generic circle? Well, the circumference is equal to 2 pi r, okay? And so the question is, well, how many of these arcs of length r fit into the circumference, which is equal to 2 pi r? And so we'd have to multiply it by 2 pi to get to a full turn. And because each length r is equal to 1 radian, well, 1 times 2 pi means that in a full turn, we have 2 pi radians. And so we could say 2 pi radians is equal to 360 degrees, okay? So that's pretty easy. Okay, so now we know that 2 pi radians is 360 degrees. How can we use this to help us convert from radians to degrees and degrees to radians? Well, it's actually pretty easy. So I'm going to keep this equality here, okay? And I'm going to first divide both sides by 2. And we get that pi radians is 180 degrees, which is correct. So now let me see, well, how many degrees are there in 1 radian? And to work that out, we could divide both sides by pi. And we get that 1 radian is equal to 180 degrees divided by pi. So now I want to also say, well, what is one degree equal to? And I get that by dividing this part by 180, similar to what I did before. So we get that one degree is going to be equal to pi radians divided by 180. Okay. And so now we can use these two bits of information here to convert really easily. So say we had, for an example, we had 45 degrees. And I want to know what is that in radians? Well, I could use this equality here. And I could just multiply both sides by 45, because if I do that, we get that 45 degrees is going to be equal to pi over 180 multiplied by 45 radians. So let's work it out. So we've got pi divided by 180 uh, multiplied by 45, and we get an answer of pi by 4 radians. So we obviously don't want to keep writing all these equalities out every time and converting between the two, so let's just write it a bit easier. So we could say if we want to go from degrees to radians, so I'll write deg to rad, all we have to do is multiply whatever the amount of degrees is by pi by 180. So we could say multiply by pi over 180, and I'll put this in a box like this. And so now if we want to go from radians to degrees, so we want to go the other way, so radians to degrees, well, we're going to use the other equality, and we're just going to multiply by 180 over pi. So multiply by 180 divided by pi, and I'll put that in a box too, like this. So we can use this now, and let's now answer some questions using this. So let me bring these two formulas down. So if we want to convert, again, we just did this one, 45 degrees to radians, and let me change it because we already did 45. Let's do 30 degrees to radians. Well, we're going to use this one here because we're going obviously degrees to radians and so we're just going to do 30 multiplied by pi over 180 and if we do that we get 30 multiplied by pi over 180 and we get an answer of pi by 6 radians. Let's now look at another question where we're going to go from radians to degrees and we want to convert pi by 8 radians into degrees so we're going to multiply pi by 8 
by 180 divided by pi. And if we do that, we get pi by eight multiplied by 180 divided by pi is equal to 22.5 degrees. So it's pretty easy to do. So hopefully this was all made sense and useful. And if it did, then like, subscribe and share and go over to my channel for tons more maths tutorials. Thanks for watching.